So where does intelligence fall in here? Intelligence has grown on this planet, all right? And it's very different functionally than, than all this other crap. It can have gleaned integrity because it's not natural selection anymore. It's rational selection. That's how intelligence is built, through rational selection, through trial and error, through real testing of the validity of a truth stated. Countless hours of experimentation to glean understanding. If you had a choice between no life and the average human life, would you press that start button? Consumption and reproduction for no purpose. That's the game. So obviously the game is stupid. The point is, is can we make anything out of this pig? My argument is, is that you can zero sum the game. I made the goddamn point, okay? You can take the harm out of life if we perfect it. If we perfected the conscious experience, we might be able to take the substance of the harm out of the game. But that's going to take a long time. It's going to take real hard work. So yeah, this is suck. It's all fucking goddamn suck. This chemical reaction, uh, this you know, Big Bang, everything that's come into play, it's just, it's all bullshit. You know, it's bullshit. So, but you, you pick this one aspect of it. Well, look, you know, the part of it where the rocks are banging into each other, I'm not really worried about. Whether a galaxy spins into another galaxy, I don't give a fuck, as long as there aren't some little feeling little creatures somewhere who are going to get their asses squished then it's no good, all right? Then it should be, they should give them a, they, they should eradicate their population humanely first. There's humane ways to do things. People can't, they can't understand. That's why there's so many people with these fucked hard responses to a vegetarian argument. They can't understand that something else matters. They can only understand that they matter. And as long as I get my fried pig fat, who the fuck cares how many pigs die? Who the fuck cares how the pigs live? Because all they care about is getting what they fucking want. But that's not intelligent. It's not reasonable in the context, like I said, of our cultural evolution, of the fact that we have evolved in intelligence, and the intelligence has become informed over thousands of years. It's just a completely unacceptable to keep talking about life from this fucking personal point of view. You know, why not just stop that desire? Just like you sort of stopped the desire to be free, but you haven't really I didn't stop the desire to reproduce, so that's just dumb. I never had the desire to reproduce, and I certainly haven't stopped my penis from saying, I want some. Kind of, that's the thing, it's the, the battle of the desires, which, which we all have to some extent, you know, you have this desire to care for people who are suffering, and that results, you, results in your opinion it's just a dumb way to phrase it. I'm sorry, that's just so inarticulate and stupid. I mean, you don't have a desire to care. What the fuck is that? It's not like it comes out of somewhere. It just says, oh, I'm going to be a caring person. I have the desire to care. It's not that arbitrary and stupid. You acquire understanding. And the understanding makes you capable of seeing empathy. It makes you capable, it expands your empathy. If this whole life thing was happening on some other planet, and it was going to be exclusively your responsibility, every bit of pain and suffering, the whole evolutionary process, the whole stupid game, all to make a bunch of McDonald's. And it goes no further than that. That's all they do. They just make McDonald's, seven little flavors on their sauce. Would you hit that start button, asshole? Would you take responsibility for all the pain you're going to be imposing for the stupid accomplishment of a bunch of heroin addicts getting their fix? Fuck this word compassion, it's not relevant to the conversation in, in, a, in a big way. Obviously we, we have argued this before, there are connections between our intelligence and emotions. The point is, is to allow the intelligence to inspire emotion, not the other fucking way around. We know what's, what part of the brain is the reptile and we know which part of the brain is the civilized fucking human. We don't let the civilized human listen to the reptile. We try to do it the other way, fuck our way around, where we have the intelligent, civilized fucking human talk to the fucking goddamn lizard. The truth is, it's an easy philosophical answer. It's not an easy emotional answer. And that's why I'm saying that you have to get, you have to really take your emotion, your self-interest out of it. You gotta take you out of the equation. And all of a sudden it becomes more and more clear, oh yeah, why would I do that?